Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour mini battery from Greener Power. So these size batteries, I think, are what's going to become the new standard uh, for 100 amp hour battery cases. They are just a lot more compact than what we are used to seeing. And by that, I mean, this is a, what I used to consider a standard size LiPo 4 battery. So you can see the difference here in between the length of this thing, the depth of it, we are about a good inch smaller on this new size battery. And height wise is about the same. It's about half an inch, maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch shorter than the standard, used to be standard LiPo 4 battery. So let's get that out of the way. So this Greener Power comes in at 215 bucks, which again, prices keep coming down, size is getting smaller. Uh, it's a win-win for all of us that are needing these batteries. So that's, that's a good bonus. It does come with a few little uh, top handles that you can use and your standard M8 terminal bolts. Now these do not have the Phillips head to tighten. You do have to use a wrench to tighten them down, which might not be a big deal, but I do honestly kind of prefer the terminal bolts that you can just get a regular screwdriver and, and crank them down, but, but bolt head only for these terminals. This is a 100 amp continuous discharge battery. It can support up to 200 amps, like for a quick surge of power needed to maybe start an air conditioning unit or some type of compressor, but it's only gonna maintain 200 amps for about three seconds. So anything over 100 amps, don't use these batteries that only have 100 amp BMS. Maximum charge current on this thing is 100 amps. They recommend 20 amps. It's just a little bit easier on the batteries, but you can, cook this thing with 100 amps of juice to get it topped off really, really fast. And this battery is configurable up to a 4P4S connection. So you can buy quite a few of these things, connect them in series or parallel or both to create a pretty big battery bank. Um, and I say big, with these things being so small, it's not the same as a year ago when you would go buy one of these standard battery cases. It would take up a lot of room. But let's check it out to see what they shipped this to me at. I have not put a charge on it. Okay, so we're sitting at 13.2 volts. That's a nice safe level to ship these batteries at. So guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook up my charger to it. I'm gonna charge it up at the 20 amp recommended charging current. And then we're gonna do a capacity test to make sure that we get at least 100 amp hours off of this. And I'm betting we'll get around 103, 104 because all of these batteries recently have, have gone above and beyond what they're actually rated for. But I'll come back after this thing's topped off and we'll do a capacity test. All right, well, we just got finished topping this battery off and we are at 13.93 volts. So we should be good to go to start the capacity test. So I'm just gonna be doing a straight DC capacity discharge and my meter here, hopefully you can see, is completely zeroed out. So we're gonna get these leads hooked up and I'm gonna be running 10 amps off of this because this is only rated for, I think, 11 amps, nothing, nothing much more than that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And we're gonna let this thing run until this battery is completely dead to make sure that we get at least 100 amp hours out of it. The capacity test is done. We were able to get out of this battery 104 amp hours out of the rated 100 amp hours. So that's great. All right, so now we're gonna test to make sure that this continuously can discharge at least 100 amps, which is what it is rated for. So I got my inverter hooked up, gonna get this clamp meter cut on so we can watch the amperage. And I'm gonna run a heat gun and I'm gonna to try to get this thing as close to 100 amps as I can. Well, that was lucky. So that's right at 99.7 amps. So let's make sure this battery can do it for at least five minutes. All right, well, we are approaching five minutes now. It's ran at 100 amps, no problem whatsoever. I'm gonna hook up a second heat gun now and see if we can't get this battery to cut off. It's gonna be a, a battle between my inverter and the battery though to see what's gonna cut down first, but we'll see what this battery can handle, hopefully. So that pulls this up to eh, 115 amps. There's 140 amps, 150 amps.
170 amps. Let's let it sit there because I'm afraid my inverter is going to cut off. But that is still running 170 amps. And I have not cut that timer off yet. Cables don't even really feel that warm. Okay, just past six minutes, running 170 amps still. If I can crank this up anymore. There's 180 amps. Let's let it sit at 180. Okay, we're at six minutes and 40 seconds, now pulling 180 amps. All right, hit seven minutes, 180 amps. Hundred and ninety seven amps, two hundred and fifteen amps. Wow. I'm surprised my inverter hasn't tripped off yet, but we're sitting at two hundred and fifteen amps right now. Wow. So this thing's only rated for 200 amps for about five seconds. So it's, it's gone well beyond that. And I don't have the right cabling to push this many amps. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. So there you have it folks. That ran for five minutes at 100 amps. And let's stop this. We're right at eight minutes. Got up to 215 amps. That's pretty incredible off of a battery, again, of this size. Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. The Greener Power Mini 100 amp hour battery. Um, luckily for me, I haven't really received any batteries here recently on the channel that haven't done uh, well or performed to its specifications. And this is kind of the same deal. I do really like these smaller form factor batteries than the standard cased 100 amp hour batteries. And the fact that, you know, 104 amp hours out of this thing that's, that's fantastic. And you just saw that it, it continuously ran for 100 amps, no sweat whatsoever. Got up to 215 amps. That is a lot of amps going through 12.8 volts. I don't recommend that high of amperage going through these batteries unless you have really thick uh, copper cables, which I did not have on that setup. But the fact that this battery could handle that is, is pretty phenomenal. So the only thing this battery does not have really is low temp charging protection and some type of Bluetooth app so you can monitor the state of charge and, and whatnot through the app. That The app is not really a big deal. I do wish that it had the, the low temp charging protection on it, but I'm in Texas and I don't really need that feature. However, if you're up north or in colder climates, that might be more important to you. And just know that this does not have that, that, that low temp uh, shut off feature built into it. So uh, watch out for that if you're up north. But you know at 21 pounds, the very small footprint that this battery takes up wherever you're going to install it, uh, and the fact that it just you know continuously ran what it was supposed to run, uh, I, I think it's a good deal. Uh, 215 bucks right now on Amazon. So um, if you're in the market for a LiPo 4 battery, 12.8 volt battery, uh, this might be a good option, especially if it goes on sale even further below that $215 price point. So uh, gang, this is the Greener Power 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour mini LiPo 4 battery. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you soon.